We are following some breaking news. CBS News has confirmed a contractor at the National Security Agency has been arrested. Let's get right to justice and Homeland Security correspondent Jeff Begay's in Washington. Jeff, what do we know and isn't this quite embarrassing? Well, it's it's certainly not a good thing for the NSA. Uh, or for that matter, Booz Allen Hamilton. That's the company that uh, this man was working for. He was a contractor working at the NSA. And according to law enforcement officials, he was taken into custody, arrested in late August. But what happened today is the court documents have been unsealed. And it shows you what investigators were concerned about. They allege that this NSA contractor uh, had all sorts of highly classified information, hard copy data, uh, in storage sheds near his home, also in his vehicle and mm. at his residence. Um, classified top secret information that obviously should not have been uh, in his possession, according to investigators. And so they are concerned about well, what was his intent here? Was he planning on releasing that information uh, to the public or turning it turning it over to someone? So those are some of the questions that we have now. He's been identified as Harold Martin the Third of Glen Burnie, Maryland, and that is a suburb of the Baltimore area. Uh, so as I said, this is something that's still developing because the court papers have been unsealed. We're going through them. Uh, he was taken into custody about a month or so ago. Uh, so investigators have been sitting on this information for some time. Uh, we can only speculate uh, why they've been sitting on it, perhaps to, to make sure that there was no uh, damage done that they can see to national security. But they have uh, revealed in these documents that had this information gotten out there, there, there would have been some sort of national security damage because of the information that he had in his possession. According to investigators, he had highly classified information and some top secret information as well. Jeff, before I let you go, I, people know Booz Allen Hamilton, that name, because they also know the name Edward Snowden. This could potentially be the second time in three years something like this happened. Can you explain to people what went on in that case and how well, this is different? Well, sure. The, you know, you don't want to jump to any conclusions here, you know, making that connection just yet. Uh, but obviously, the intelligence community, the law enforcement community in this country is still, uh, still in a lot of ways recovering from the information that Edward Snowden leaked. Uh, and so when you have a situation like this where a, a contractor has been arrested and accused of uh, storing this kind of uh, highly classified information, uh, naturally there are going to be these comparisons. And that's why I say we still have to figure out and, and ask law enforcement these questions. Well, what was his intent here? Was his intent to disseminate this information publicly? Uh, so those are some of the questions that we, we need to know. What was his intent? Was he, was he going to disseminate? Disseminate, disseminate the information publicly or hand it off to someone. But we know, according to investigators, that they believe this information is the, is the type of information that in, in the wrong hands could cause a lot of national security damage. Fascinating. Jeff Begays, thanks so much. We appreciate it.